welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So today I'm going to be doing a little deconstructed bloom on this State of Texas pour board that I got from the Fluid Art Co. Uh, they sent it to me and um, it's fitting because I am leaving for Texas tomorrow morning. Today's Monday and tomorrow's Tuesday and the Fluid Art Experience starts on Thursday. So uh, this is my paints. You'll see that the trace that the paints leaves is about two to three seconds. This is a custom color. Uh, I mixed cobalt blue with agapanthus from TLP. Uh, then there is, I think it's Venetian Rose from Amsterdam. This is PPO iridescent green yellow, agapanthus straight, and cobalt blue straight. Um, so and then I used a white cell activator, titanium white from Amsterdam. Uh, I did attempt to use my little, uh, what is that thing called? Mini blower, but it was a little cold in my studio. So my paints were kind of not moving as well as they normally do, uh, but that's okay. Uh, so I just used my mouth to blow this all out. Uh, it ended up being really pretty. Um, it's very soft and I did end up making this one into a trivet. So I don't really like to use a straw when I see the white kind of not, uh, when the white cell activator is kind of in larger areas, I don't, a lot of people like to use straws and I will use a straw if I have to. I'd rather use my mouth to try and get those cells to come up. So that's what I did. Uh, and then I just let it sit for a minute to see what was going to happen. Now, a little background on this one. Um, one of my students, Amber, from um, Texas, I was talking to her and I was um, doing a Zoom class and I was trying to figure out, like brainstorm as to what I should do on this pour board that I was sent. So she recommended that I do the colors of the bluebells um, from a Texas State Flower is the bluebells, which are really beautiful flowers. So I kind of ran with that. Um, and so I decided to do those colors in this, um, this pour. Uh, so now you see that those cells are starting to come together a little bit. And then once I start to deconstruct this or start stretching, uh, those will sort of close up more and there won't be that big white gap that is there currently. And so um, on this one, I just, it stretched out really, really pretty. It dried really pretty. So you're going to see the dried results in the end. Um, but the key to a deconstructed bloom is to tilt slowly, in my opinion. That's my opinion. But if you tilt too quickly, you will get... Um, kind of some weird lines. You'll get your cells all smushing together and you might lose too much paint off of one end and not be able to stretch it back to the other end. So if you go very slow, um, you end up with better cells, better lacing, uh, that, that's what I think. And, and I really, I do really think that that's, it is better to do slowly. So here it is, guys. It was very like nice, easy, little deconstructed bloom. Uh, tried to show you guys up close, uh, but it's hard to s tell where you guys are in the frame because I can't see the screen when I am filming. But that is a closer up version. This is the resined version of it. And it 
is beautiful. Like you can see that shimmer that is coming through um, from the agapanthus and from that uh, iridescent green yellow uh, from PBO. Uh, it's just really pretty. It's um, actually, I did make it into a trivet. So it is corked on the back. And I used Mixed Media Girl Resin, which guys, normally I hate, hate, hate resin. And I have a very bad relationship with it. But I've come to realize that maybe I've been using the wrong resin. Uh, I was using KS Resin, the expensive one, the Elite. And... I think that it just wasn't working for me. So the Mixed Media Girl resin worked great. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys.